Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about the Fender Smolder Acoustic Overdrive Pedal. Now, when I was at Summer NAMM this year, I made a point of saying that there was a lot of distortion and electric pickup ideas for acoustic guitars. It seemed to be a theme there this summer. Well, one of the pedals I saw that I was really interested in was the Fender Smolder pedal. A lot of people were talking about this pedal. Some of the demos from the show sounded great. And of course, it wasn't available until recently. We're now in October, and that's always disappointing, right? When we, when we want these pedals, we can't get our hands on them. So needless to say, I ordered one from Sweetwater, but Fender did offer to send me one when I reached out to them. I really appreciate it. Of course, this does not sway my review. If I didn't like it, it would be sent straight back again. The fact that I have it right now and I'm reviewing it is a good sign. And I also honestly feel that the video I made at the beginning of this as my little intro clip sounds really cool. I'm really happy with this pedal and I think you'll agree. But let me go through the features and the things I like, the things I don't like, and I'll give you a summary at the end. So once again, this is a pedal for your acoustic. Now the acoustic guitar is an interesting instrument, right? It's a, it's a purist dream. It's, a, it's an instrument that we want the same but louder. We wanna have that pure acoustic sound that we've spent years searching for and developing. But some players like me wanna come along and throw this on top of their sound. And that's because I use looping for solo gigs. Now, when you loop an acoustic guitar, you can loop uh, like a drum pattern with it, the pickup. You can then loop the chords, the rhythm part, and you can play a solo over the top. You can boost your level, your volume, and play over the top. But at the end of the day, you're still getting the acoustic tone over the acoustic tone. The great thing about this pedal is that you can have a different sound. So you can have your drum kind of sound that you loop, then your strumming of acoustic, and then your distorted lead. And that creates more interesting layers to the sound. And that's what I found with this pedal. That's why I like it, especially for looping. Another thing you can do with this is, as it has a blend control, you can back that off and just have the distorted sound in the background. And you have this kind of pad like a keyboard in the background while you're strumming. That can be nice for extra layers too. So a very versatile pedal. I mean, it has tone, treble, bass, pickup compensation, level, blend, and drive. That's a lot of controls, a lot of things to tweak, which may put you off, but I think it's useful to have them. You see, your regular distortion pedal, like uh, Sir Riot I have here, has a level, distortion level, and a tone control. That's not really enough to manipulate your acoustic the same good. This one, the Fender, has a tone, a treble, a bass, a pickup compensation. Now what this does is it removes some of those low frequencies that can really feed back when you boost and distort them, so that's really useful. A level control, it's pretty standard. The blend, see, as, as I said, you can have a full-on distortion sound or you can have like a blend between the two. I feel all distortion pedals should have this, honestly, but really useful for acoustic. If you back the blend right off and you're strumming, you can have the distortion right behind you, nice pad effect, and the amount of drive. An on-off LED, uh, a power connector, which is great, so just nine volt connector. LEDs, these colored LEDs can be on or off with the switch on the back here and a really cool new um, battery compartment that Fender have designed, and I think they've got a patent on it now. You just flip it open, change your battery, and magnetically flip it back. Really cool. Only thing is the battery only lasts like one gig for me, so try and use the power when you can, but I do like this new design they've got, and there's also a power light as well when your battery's dying. So I love what Fender are doing with their pedal design. They're really, they're really knocking it out of the park, if I do say so myself. One other cool feature the pedal has is a built-in amp simulator. Because that's the other problem when you just use a distortion pedal for acoustic. It sounds really thin and fizzy. You really need to use an actual amp on stage, but who's gonna carry an amp to a bar gig, right? I mean, I'm not gonna carry an electric amp just for that. And you're starting to get really loud then too. But with this, it has it built in. So that means that you can have that nice amp sound from the pedal. And I'll show that to you right now. Let me show you a clip of me playing my acoustic with the Sir Riot pedal. Just with the settings like a 50% to show you what kind of sound you get from just a straight up distortion pedal through an acoustic. Let's check that out now.
Okay, so that sounds pretty nasty and fizzy, right? Let me now do the same thing with the fender pedal. So you can hear that the amp simonette makes it much nicer sounding, much better. All right, and let me show you the blend. If I back the blend right off and turn the drive up, check this out. So you've just got like distortion in the background. If I turn the pedal off, and turn it on, can you hear it right in the background? That's quite extreme. This is at 50%. And if you want a full on experience, then you can turn the blend right up almost all the way and you get like this. So it's really cool. Like I said, you're not going to get like a strap through a distortion pedal through an amp. You're not going to get like that kind of distortion sound. You're not going to be playing like Guns N' Roses covers authentically, but you are going to get a new sound to add to your looping, a heavy rock sound to play with, and amazing sound for like bluesy kind of licks. <laughs> And so much control over the sound to eliminate feedback and find your own tones with the different uh, EQ options and blend controls. So a really versatile and creative pedal. Let me show you a quick clip now of me using it in Manhattan last week at one of my bar gigs just to show you, I think it really added to the, the performance and the excitement of the solo. Check this out. Okay, so in summary, I'm really impressed with this pedal. I think if you're a solo musician like me, you should get one immediately. If you're in a band, like a three-piece acoustic band, then get one right away. Obviously, this will depend on your pickup. Now, that's a Fishman Matrix with a body sensor. That's the enhanced pickup for a Martin in that guitar. It will work differently with magnetic pickups, with like acoustic sonic, these kind of things. I have used it with like a Tone Dexter map, that sounded fine. It will, everything will change, the pickup and the, what you plug into this will change the tone for better or worse. I can't imagine it sounding bad, but it will be a different experience based on your pickup. So do try it first. So of course I love that it adds so much variation to my performances and it's just outright fun to be honest with you. I've been waiting for something like this. Now what do I not like about it? Now it's pretty heavy, that's a good thing or a bad thing. The button is quite clicky. I feel like for acoustic pedals we want soft silent switches just so we don't get lots of noise and even though it's a distortion pedal I still want to keep the noise to a minimum. So personally I prefer that. Battery life is very short like one or two gigs. That's just the nature of the beast I guess you know use the power supply. Now the feet provided with this pedal do not come attached out of the box you have to add them yourself. When I did that I realized straight away they were very sticky and not doing a very good job at staying on. Indeed, the next day they slipped all around and made this horrible gooey mess on the back. You can just about see that. I wiped it off the best I could. I end up using my own feet. So do not stick on the feet that Fender give you. If you want feet, buy your own feet like this. Stick them on yourself. The ones that come with it are just not good enough or mine were defective. I hope they change those. I really do. If you put it on a pedal board, then just stick your Velcro and, and you're good to go. But I want this on the floor, so I wanted the feet, and I didn't like the feet that came in the box. There's no power supply in the box, so get yourself one, but just a standard nine volt. This is obviously ideal for a pedal board. You can put your Velcro on, stick it down, plug in the power supply, and you're good to go at the box. So for me, this is as good as I hoped it would be at NAMM. I love it. I love what Fender are doing with their pedals for acoustic players. Please keep making more pedals for acoustic players. We need more effects and things for our shows. I hope so. eventually someone makes a multi effects with something like this built in with other effects that I use because then I can just have one thing and take it around with my acoustic guitar. One bonus feature of this, it's not really, 
One bonus feature of this that they mentioned at NAMM is that because it has an electric amp SIM inside, it's like a deluxe or a twin or something, you can use it for recording electric guitar. Indeed, you could use this as an amp SIM for an electric gig and plug your pedal board into it. Not something I personally would do because I have other options, but if you want something for that, that's really useful too. And I'll give you a quick demo of that right now too. Okay, so very usable for that. Like I said, just a bonus feature there. I love this pedal and I hope you do too. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more cool videos coming up real soon. And until next time, enjoy rocking out with your distortion on your acoustic. All right, bye-bye.